Today we're going to run through the Air Commander entire R3 setup for Sony cameras. We'll be using for this integration a Cube Orange running Arduino Pilot and then the standard carrier board, but it works with PX4 as well. We are going to cover how to make all the cable connections and how to set up the Air Commander R3 via the web interface. And then to finish it off, we'll show you a brief summary of how to set up the Cube Autopilot with the system, making all the necessary parameter adjustments to get everything functioning properly. To start, let's give a brief overview of the components and what we're going to work with today. The three different components we're going to be using are first off the entire module, which is for camera control. And then we're going to show you how to set up the Grimsey geotagging um, cable kit that allows us to pull um, geotagging data from the flight controller and enter it into our image exif, as well as gimbal angles from the Grimsey. And then the last component we'll use is either the A9 smart plug or the A7 smart plug. And these act as dummy batteries um, for the Sony Alpha 7 series. If you have the series one or two from the Sony Alpha, you'll use the A7. And then the newer three and four series, we'll use the Sony A9 smart plug. To start our cable connections, we will first take our USB multi-port cable provided. It'll be the cable with all the wires connected into the JST plug. And we're going to plug that into the USB multi-port on the entire. Our next connection will be our hot shoe and infrared control light for the Sony camera. And this is going to get plugged into the EXT port on the entire module. We will then take our power adapter, which lets us pull power from our Grimsey gimbal. And this will get plugged into the power port of the entire module. And while we're here with the power module, if we are going to use an optional smart plug, we will take the power lead and plug it into the second power port on our adapter. And then we see there's one more cable from the smart plug, and that will be plugged into universal port B. And then the last connection we have will be our gimbal Mavlink pass-through cable, and this will get plugged into universal port C. And there we have it. So we have our USB connection, which will plug into the camera. We have our Mavlink pass-through, which will connect to the um, com and aux of the gimbal. And then we have our power adapter, which will get plugged into the power port on the Grimsey gimbal. And then from our extension cable, this red wire will get plugged into our hot shoe mount on the top of the Sony camera. With the Grimsey geotagging kit, we have two additional components, the extension box and this breakout board. What we will do is we'll take our Pixhawk Mavlink cable and we will plug it into universal three on the extension box. And this side will get plugged into our telemetry port on our autopilot. Then, as you can see here, these two cables will be installed already on our breakout board. These two cables will get plugged into the aux and com ports on the top of our gimbal quick release, like this. We will take this wire, even though we're using Mavlink and Arduino Pilot, we're going to plug it into port DJI, and that will get plugged into Universal 2 on our extension port. This will help parse the Mavlink data correctly. The last cable, we're going to plug into data on the extension box, and there will be a port labeled data on our breakout board, and those get connected. This would be the top of our gimbal connected to the drone. Here we'll show the steps necessary to configure our autopilot to work with the Air Commander. We'll connect here in Mission Planner. We'll go over at the top to our config tab. And then once we get there, we'll go to full parameter list. And then on the other side in our search bar, in order to find our telemetry two port, we'll type in serial. And then we can scroll down here to where it says serial two, and this is linked to our telemetry port. We'll configure the serial two baud rate to 500 and our serial two protocol to option two, which will be Mavlink two. And once we've configured those two ports, we'll come over here and hit right parameters. And then when we refresh our autopilot, it should be configured correctly for the air commander. 
So to connect to the entire R3 via its Wi-Fi, we'll just go into our device's settings, connect to the Wi-Fi network labeled entire, and then we'll go to our web interface, such as our web browser, and we'll type in 192.168.10.1, and it pulls up our web um, GUI that we can configure the entire R3 for the camera we have. So what we'll do is we can see on the bottom left, the mode is connected to USB, and that is correct. And we can confirm this by our camera being highlighted in blue with our model number. We'll then go and select these different ports to match how we've labeled our um, cables when we set it all up. So for uni port B, we will tap on that and then we'll find the labeled smart plug. And as we see that'll pop online in green. And if we click over to the side, we can see now uni port B is smart plug highlighted in blue, verifying it's connected. Uni port C, we'll do the same, click on it. And this one, we are going to click on extension box. And once again, it should pop online. As we can see, it comes blue to verify. And it brings up these other options. Uni port three, I must have already configured, but we will set that one to Mavlink because this is the uni port that's connected to our flight controller. Once again, highlighted in blue, verifying it's connected. The last setup was uni port two. We'll click on that one. And this one we'll set to Gremsey because this one is connected to our gimbal. And once again, verify that it's blue as it's online. This should be the only settings we need to configure in order to get functionality. We can verify by switching over at the bottom to control and we can take a picture from our camera. There should be a slight delay, but it triggers. And then we can also change the different settings in our camera via this interface as well. And here we have our completed Sony camera integration on the Gremsey gimbal. We tucked away our components here on the bottom. Please check our other videos if you want to see how to set up the Sony camera and its settings for entire, as well as integrating this whole system into the HearLink controller, or we have a series on how to integrate a Phase 1 IXM camera onto this platform.